Hey, Facebook. It has been a hot second. So, <clears throat> you pin my website here. All right. If you are on, say hello. On, say hey if you're watching the replay please type hashtag replay feel free to share my video I heart shares I haven't been on here in forever because I have been so sick so sick like can we talk about this hey Cheryl hey Tracy so so sick it's insane um, I'm finally like not covered in boogers and I have my voice back but I haven't gotten on here to do makeup in forever and I know that it's Saturday afternoon and everybody probably has better stuff to do but I am putting on some makeup anyway because I have some stuff I have to do so I just figured I would do it live so tell me what everybody's doing this weekend. I feel like I haven't been on here in forever. Hey, Freddie. So, um, I'm at my new vanity in my bedroom, which is like the coolest thing ever, but I have no idea where anything is. So it's like everything's completely rearranged. It's all in different spots, so it takes me... Like my live hours, are gonna, my live videos are gonna be like five hours long, because I'm gonna spend two of those hours just looking for stuff. But um, finally feeling better. Finally have my voice back. I'm just using some primer. Um, hey Karen. Yeah, finally feeling like a human again which is incredible. I've been sick for the longest time, um, which is why I haven't been on here because I kind of figured that nobody wants to see me with like boogers oozing out of every part of my face. So, but I have some stuff I have to do today. Some errands because I literally haven't left the house in two weeks. So, got some stuff to do. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get like, like completely like, everything is in a different spot. I don't know where anything is. It takes me 20 minutes to find a lip gloss. It's like organized, but like totally different. So I don't know where anything is. But can I show you something cute? Look at what I got, guys. Look what I got. They're little holders for your beauty blenders. Look at these. And it's a set of three. And they each have like a different shape on the bottom. How cute are they? Look at, look at, look at. They're like, you, they have like different finishes. There's like a rose gold and a silver and a gold. I think there was a gunmetal one. But they're metal. And they hold your beauty blenders. And they're adorable. And I love them so much. Look at how cute. They're on Amazon. I think they're like $8.99 for a set of three. So I'm all about it. And I finally got around to, um... These are, when you're with Unique, you can earn like charms for different milestones and stuff with the company. And um, once you reach a certain milestone, you also get one of these, these boxes that you can put the charms in. And for the longest time, I didn't know where this box was. Um, in my organization whirlwind last week, I came across it. So I was like, I'm gonna actually put all my charms in the box. So that's kind of cool but anyway um today I'm gonna do like just some quick makeup just because I have a few errands to run tell me what you guys are up to today it's like a low-key weekend because there's uh like no football this weekend no they're not egg holders they're actually four beauty blenders but I guess you could put eggs in them 
I also ordered a Reiki skinny mirror from Glamcore. I'm so excited. This is like, it's like the best mirror, best lighted mirror you can, you can get. And I got it, um, with my purple unique card. So, um, doing something a little different today. I'm going to use cream foundation today because I've been playing around with this a lot lately. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this today. Um, when you get the cream foundation, I know next weekend is going to be banana sandwich. I already ordered like tons and tons of trays of food and it's just us. Like there's nobody coming over to watch the Super Bowl with us. It's just us, but I ordered so much food. It's obscene because it's very exciting to have the Eagles in the Super Bowl. I'm super psyched. Oh, if you're checking out my, my awesome jewelry, um, Riley made this for me this morning and I was instructed that I'm not allowed to take it off. So, you know, be jealous. But anyway, I'm doing, uh, I'm kind of like getting back into the swing of being myself here. So I apologize if this is a little scatterbrained. <clears throat> but this is the cream foundation. It comes in a compact like this. Karen, come over. I'll fly you guys up. I have, I have like 197,000 miles. It's fairly ridiculous. If you want to come up, I'll, I'll bring you up. Um, so this is the cream foundation. It comes with this little spongy applicator and there's this little window that um, protects the product, which is really cool. I really like, I don't use the applicator and I don't use this foundation a lot, but I've been kind of playing with it a lot lately because um, I get a lot of questions about it. It's a different finish than our liquid foundation. The liquid foundation dries to like a powder matte finish. This one is not a powder matte finish. This one is more of a satin finish. So it's gonna be a little more dewy. I'm gonna use the, this is the powder concealer brush that we sell. Um, I'm gonna use this to apply it and not the sponge applicator just cause I like this better. So. I'm actually like, I've been playing around with this a lot lately and I'm pretty pleased with the coverage that you get with it. I don't need to, hey Kirsten. No, you're not blocked. Should you be? <laughs> oh no. That's for all those dick emojis. Maybe Facebook blocked you for all the dick emojis. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the coverage that I get with this. I don't need super duper heavy um, coverage. I don't have a lot to cover. Like I don't have, I don't have redness or like wrinkles or anything like that yet. So I, um, I mostly just need to even out my skin tone. I'm happy with the coverage on this and it's like, look at the difference. It's very light. Um, I'm using the organza. I feel like I could probably use the scarlet in this one. Um, I use organza in the liquid foundation, but I feel like the organza in the cream foundation is like a little bit darker. Oh, she was making dick emojis, Karen. The last, one of the last times I was on, we were joking about, um, dick emojis flying into my mouth as I was talking. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I haven't left the house in like two weeks because I've been sick. So I have a million and a half things to do. I shipped out like, uh, like 40 packages this morning. I had them picked up though because I don't understand anybody that goes to the post office. My $20 postage scale is the best $20 I've ever spent in my entire life. Right, oh my God, if there were dick emojis, it would be like all hands on deck. You would never get me to stop using the dick emoji. I mean, they won't even admit that the poop emoji's poop. They still say it's ice cream. It's not ice cream. When you type poop, the little predictive emoji thing on the bottom of your iPhone shows you the ice cream. I've got some like intense light here though. I need to get used to that. 
because the uh, I have a window directly behind me so I'm like sunlight like oh I'm not as pale in person as I look on here so yeah this is the cream I, I like this I think that this is a um, an underappreciated product yeah it's ice cream it's chocolate ice cream and I'm actually gonna set this with the pressed powder um, this is on its own a foundation as well uh, pressed powder foundation but um, you can actually use this to set your cream foundation and you can actually buy these as a duo a little um, uh, set and you get like a little discount if you buy the two of them together this is like dramatic music it makes me want to like start like yeah exactly when you type poop it comes up but they still insist that it's not supposed to be poop it's supposed to be ice cream everybody knows it's poop guys so what's everybody doing this weekend? I haven't been on here forever. I haven't talked to any of you in what seems like forever. What's everybody up to? If you're on, say hi. I have like one crazy eyebrow right in the center I need to pluck. Driving me insane. Alright. So guys, I am like 18% to my Cancun trip already and I have until the end of June. Look how pale I look in the sunlight, that's crazy. I'm not that pale in person, I swear. I'm looking at me in the mirror. Hey Janice, Mikhail, you're gonna do homework. I'm gonna use some blush. You'll have to be patient with me as I like find all my stuff everything is rearranged now. I don't know where anything is. Alright. Grab. That should be good. For now. So I'm going to throw on some eyebrows. Yeah, everything is in a different spot. So I'm like, I spend, like, I feel like I'm spending, like, the first hour just, like, looking for, for my stuff. Because everything's rearranged. Cleaning and laundry. He's been homesick. Everybody is sick, guys. Everybody is sick. The kids have been sick. Um, Connor was sent home from school. Hey, Tanya. Tanya, did you get your eyeshadows? Yet. I don't know if they got there yet. I didn't track them. Um, everybody has been um, sick. Connor got sent home sick from school. He had this cough. And then... Um, they called let us know like he was coughing a lot, but he seemed otherwise fine. And then, oh, I'm using the, the brow palette, the medium brow palette. I'm mixing the lighter color with the gel, the wax that's in here. Um, I'm sorry. Yay, good. You're welcome. Um, yeah, they called us to let us know that he was fine. But then, guys, look at the difference if you do your brows versus if you don't. Start doing your brows. Um, but yeah, and then like later that day they called to let us know he was throwing up and he had a fever. Um, so he missed two days of school this week. And now Rory's sick, Tom is sick. I'm just getting over it. Like I've been sick forever. I feel like I didn't have the same thing the whole time though. I have a ton of laundry to do too because when everybody's sick I like to like change the sheets like crazy and all that so you sorry it's hard to talk when I'm doing my eyebrows and I don't even do like those like crazy like I don't go nuts with, with brows. There are women that are like insane about their brows. 
and I just, I'm happy with them having a nice shape and being filled in and beyond that. Costume plan. Mikhail, your costumes are so cool, by the way. I enjoy seeing your little videos um, that you put up showing them off. I really like it. I think it's cool you're so confident, too. I wish I had any talent for, like, making stuff like that. I can't do anything like that. My eyebrows take the longest out of anything that I do. You're welcome. I always watch them even if I don't comment. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm always around. Okay. So there's brows. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I've reheated this coffee three times already. Not allowed to be sick. I'm having to be nursemaid for everyone. They won't know what to do when I get sick. That's usually how it goes, Janice. You're officially the head of the household, ma'am. And you have to take care of everybody when they're sick. And it's how it goes. Let me grab a blush brush. Oh, I'm sure you have talent. Okay, this is our mineral blush in Sweet. Guys, these blushes are gigantic. Okay? These cost the same as the Bare Minerals blushes, and the Bare Minerals blushes are like this big. Okay? These are amazing. This is sweet. This is like our most popular color, and this just came back in from back order. They're super pigmented. You literally just need to touch, look at, to touch the brush to it, and um, you're going to get a ton of product. It's actually too much. I'm going to have to tone it down a little bit. and I bet you have some hidden talents in there. Why don't you come do makeup with me? It's fun. I'm not really that great at makeup. I just, it's just fun. I like makeup and I like to play with it, but I'm not that good at it. So, um, I can answer all the questions, but actually executing the processes is like a whole other ball game. So, uh, this is fun for me. This is like, this is therapeutic. If I never sold a single thing, this would just be fun. All right. Oh my God. I have to show you guys something else. Look at, look at, look at, look at. I got this on Amazon. It's for Q-tips. It's a little lotus flower. How cute is this, you guys? My little tricked out vanity. I'm so excited. I waited a really long time to get this. So I'm super excited about it. All right. I'm going to stop chatting, 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 because I do have some stuff to do today. I'm going to decide what eyeshadows. I'm going super simple on my eyeshadow here, guys. Hey, Bonnie. All right. I'm going to throw on, I think. Hmm, let's do. These are our press shadows. There's 28 colors. 29 if you count the... Uh, the limited edition one they did. I think I'm going to do astute and, yeah, astute and gingerly. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yeah, I like, I freaked out when I saw that. The little lotus flower is adorable. It doesn't hold that many Q-tips. I don't know that I would use it in my bathroom because... Like, we go through Q-tips in the bathroom like crazy, but, like, to just have on the, um, the vanity just for my makeup, like, to touch up. You're in the mountains. Where are you, Mikhail? Alright, I'm going to do... That's astute on the lid, and then I'm going to do gingerly in the crease. Gingerly is almost like a pumpkin spice color. It's actually my favorite color. 
Where in the mountains are you, Mikhail? Oh, my music stopped. I'm so low key today. I'm usually so like upbeat and bubbly, but like getting back into like the whole mindset of doing these videos is like, it's hard after you've been sick for a while. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of Fervent, which is like a maroon color, right on here. The corner. I'm going to, don't worry, you're going to look crazy for a hot second. You have to blend all this together, guys. Blending brush. Now, one thing you don't see me use a lot is concealer. I am gonna do a video, um, because I have a customer asking about um, how to do the concealer under her eyes. So I am gonna do a little video about that, but I'll probably just record it and post it. Um, I don't do a lot of concealer because I don't have um, a lot of darkness under my eyes and I don't really have other things to cover. Um, so I feel like it's needlessly heavy on my face. So I don't use a lot of concealer, um, but I am going to do a little video. So if it's something that interests you, you can check that out. I'm going to throw a little bit of slick, I think, right up here. Slick is almost like a rose gold shimmery color. It's so pretty. I know, I'm so not myself. I'm so like, I'm usually like, hey guys, I'm so entertaining. And I'm just like, not, <laughs> just not. Um, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm still not fully like, I have these headaches that just like won't go away. And um, it's driving me a little crazy. But I'm getting there. All right, I'm gonna throw a little bit of optimistic right here in the corner. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to do some liner, you know, what kind of liner should I do here? I'm going to do um, the Dip and Draw in Patronize, which is a maroon color. Shake these up before you use them, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. This eyeliner is gorgeous. I'm going to use the mirror from my blush. If you haven't tried these dip and draw eyeliners and if you're afraid of liquid liner like I was, these are very easy to use. The tip is felt, it has a lot of give. It is not um, as hard and stiff as a lot of other liquid liners that I've dealt with. So I feel like your hand doesn't need to be quite so steady. Now I do like a bit of a thicker line so I go back in and I kind of take that up a little bit more. I feel like a thin line um, doesn't look right or on my shape eyes.
So can I tell you that like, I can't believe the twins are gonna be five. We, um, we booked the place for their birthday party uh, in February. And I got all of the paperwork to register them for kindergarten, which is like blowing my mind at the moment. And it's like, it's crazy because they're all gonna be like on the same schedule going to the same school. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. Right now they go to three different schools. They're all in different schedules. Um, sorry, I got a phone call. So, uh, okay, so that's liquid liner. That's called Patronize. It's a maroon color, it's really pretty. Um, if you haven't tried these, we've got uh, four colors. There's um, a blue that's called polarized, and then there's a black and a, a bronze. And they all have like a slight uh, metallic shimmer to them. The blue and this one are limited edition, so when they are sold out, they're gone forever. Um, they're beautiful, so try them. I love them a lot. And um, let's see, I do mascara. I'm just gonna do Epic, I think. Actually, I might do a little bit of the optimistic underneath here. I don't always put stuff under my eyes. It does tend to irritate my eyes. That's why you don't see me put um, a lot of uh, liner on the bottom and you won't see me put it like on my waterline very often it irritates my eyes really badly any brand doesn't matter what it is I have super sensitive eyes so I'm gonna do epic There's a lot of makeup for the grocery store. I really wish I had longer eyelashes. Hey, Linda. I feel like I see all of these videos of all my teammates and they put on this epic mascara and their lashes are like BAM! And my lashes are so puny that I put on the epic mascara and it just, it looks amazing, but it doesn't have like the, the BAM like they get. I'm jealous. I feel like I should get eyelash extensions. But then I know I would like I would never keep up with eyelash extensions. Like, do you ha you have to go back and like have those maintained, right? Like, how do those work? I know so little about them. I know they're like a big thing now. I couldn't see me like making appointments to go get my eyelashes done. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I just like, I couldn't see me doing it. I can barely get a haircut, let alone making an appointment to get my eyelashes done. I do, Tonya, and it has made a big difference. The Esteem Lash Serum has made a huge difference in the volume of my lashes and like the patchiness. I had some patchiness um, in both my lashes and my brows. I used the serum in my brows as well, but, um, as far as the length, it hasn't made any like crazy difference. It has grown eyebrows where there, uh, it has grown eyelashes where there weren't eyelashes, which is kind of cool and freaky at the same time. But um, it hasn't, um, hasn't made a huge difference in the length. But I do use the Esteem um, 
I use it in the morning and before bed. So it is like part of my, it's part of like my skincare routine. I just do it with that. I do like my mask and my cleansing and like my uh, my moisturizer and then I do my, my lash serum, I do my lip exfoliator. And that's all just part of my cleansing routine because that's how I can like remember to do it. I get amazing results with the Epic. The difference between my lashes with this and without is incredible. It's just like, I'm jealous of the girls on my team that it's like, when they first put it on, it's just like, ah. Um, Freddie, I use the 3D fibers a lot. I just don't want to use them every day. I've used them with the Epic on almost every video I've done. If you go back and watch a lot of my videos, I use them pretty frequently. I just prefer to have the one step. Alright. I don't like this music. So that's with the epic. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a massive difference, trust me. When when I have nothing on one eye and then the Epic on the other, it's a huge difference. It's just not the difference that like all the other girls get. I had to start using a steam every other day. Your lashes were getting too long. Freddie, I wanna see I I need to see you with the with the epic on. I'm like, I'm dying, I'm dying here. I'm dying. For real. All right, I'm gonna do some lips and then I'm gonna get out of your hair. Let me grab. All right. Dying here, dying. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do popular lip liner and a lovesick gloss. Keep it simple. No, I'm dying because I want to see you start. Like, I just, ugh. I'm sure you can teach me a few things. I have never, ever professed to be good at any of this crap. I just like doing it. I'm not good at learning my lips. I'm horrible, actually. Popular lighter is kind of like a corally red. Okay. And then I'm going to just put um, the Lovesick gloss over top of it. This is the first time I've had makeup on in two weeks. I don't know what this music is. All right, so I think I'm good. What do we think? Oh, I'm gonna do some setting spray. No, I didn't do any highlights. What am I doing? I gotta do some highlight, guys. I'm all I'm all full clumped. I'm gonna do some of the cream and uh, iridescent. Thank you, Linda. Just gonna do just a tiny little bit. This goes so, like, such a long way. Just gonna tap it. Tap it. Okay. 
these cream luminizers like you literally need that tiny little dot was way too much like I it was the tiniest little dot and it was way too much this is the iridescent which is the white um, all colors work on pretty much all skin tones it's just it it's just in how much you use um, because I can use everybody always asks me like what shade luminizer do I need like if I wear this shade foundation it's like you can use any of the luminizers um, they work for everybody um, there is a this one is is like a an iridescent white but then there's a gold a rose gold a copper and a bronze and even the darkest one I can use it's just you don't want to go super heavy with it but a little goes a long way Look, I still have some left. I should have, look at my fancy new vanity and I don't even have a, I'm just gonna put the rest of it on my cheeks. Look, see how it catches the light? Really pretty, really, really pretty. And I'm just gonna do some setting spray and I'm gonna be done. Get out of here. Get out of your hair. Woo! And guys, um, this setting spray is amazing and it's a huge bottle. If you're not using setting spray, start. This bottle is gigantic. All right, let me just. <laughs> Thank you. I've been digging the, the red lips on me lately. And this is our lip brush. Um, thank you guys. Uh, it's really cool because it's retractable. So um, it doesn't get dirty, which I like. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm grocery store ready. What do you guys think? I think it's a bit much for the grocery store, but that's okay. Um, so, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I promise next time I'm on, I'll be a little more entertaining. I know this was a little low-key, um, but uh, kind of just getting like my head back in this and uh, starting to feel a lot better. So, I will. Uh, I'll be back on again probably tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to be doing a Disney series of eye makeup, which I'm excited about. I'm a little scared about it because my skills aren't that great. But I'm going to try. And uh, then I think next week we'll do some football looks because, you know, Super Bowl, right? And uh, the motherfucking Eagles are in the Super Bowl. So, whoop. all right. I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm very excited. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you spending a little time on your Saturday afternoon with me. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do something. I'll be more fun tomorrow. I promise. I promise. Okay. Bye, guys.